The powerful storm system that created a tragedy in Oklahoma lost some of its punch by the time it hit here in the Wabash Valley, but in Davies County, it still managed to do a lot of damage. The storm left a mess from Maysville near the White River all the way to the far side of Washington. As News 10's Mike Grant reports, Washington was in full cleanup mode after the storm ripped through the heart of the city. A huge 2 by 12 sat impaled through a new car on a dealership lot in downtown Washington. The Main Street area was hit hard by the storm, taking the facade off of one building, blowing out the wall on a storage building a couple of blocks away, and sending parts of roofs into the streets and parking lots. Everybody's been working together to try to get the messes cleaned up. We've had several roofs off of downtown buildings that have created quite a bit of damage. That damage ran right up Walnut Street, taking down trees, knocking out power, and leaving some frightened people in its wake. It, it would, the house was shaking, and we could hear the, the front, my bedroom window, the, the wind was sucking out through it. It was pretty wild. One area hit hard by the storm was the city's east side park. Two large trees were completely uprooted, and limbs littered the ground. As you can tell by the size of these trees it was a big wind that came through this community but the folks who live here say they feel fortunate that it didn't do even more damage that's true even at the willis home on the far east side of town where the powerful storm damaged trees and even the roof but it stopped there uh, it's it's pretty heart-wrenching i mean to see it that uh the main thing was, I guess, uh, unlike others that are suffering right now, the house still there is still standing. And with no one reported as injured, this community can move forward and clean up the stuff that the storm tore apart. In Washington, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. That same storm damage also did some damage in the Odin and Sanborn areas.